In this recording, let's talk about a specific exponential function. In our earlier recording, we've already talked about this kind of a function, where we know the form of the exponential function is fx equals to b to the power x. Now let's talk about a specific exponential function, which is this, that is fx equals to e to the power x, where e is the value, e is basically 2.718. So take home from this particular recording is that how do you draw this function one and how do you get this value of e? Okay, this is an approximate value. Okay, so here e is a specific number e is equal to 2.718. Let's draw the function first. So, well, you know this in our earlier recording, we have already seen fx is equal to b to the power x and we have seen a, a specific example in which fx was 3 to the power x and gx was 1 by 3 to the power x. Okay, now one thing we definitely know in case if in case if we have to form the uh, the graph of the function fx is equal to 2.718 to the power x. Now this 2.718 is greater than 1. So I know this from the property of an exponential of an exponential function that this is going to be an increasing function like this okay so let's let's just draw this well you will need calculator for this so when x is equal to minus 2 e to the power minus 2 is 1 upon 2.718 square once you will calculate this you'll get 0 0.1353 so this is the value for 0 0.1353 okay which I haven't written it here x is equal to minus 1, so it is 1 upon 2.718, which is 0 0.367. x is equal to 0, e to the power 0. This is, this is a specific characteristic, or not a specific, this is a general characteristic of the exponential function that these functions will always pass through 0 and 1, where x is equal to 0 and y is equal to 1. When x is equal to 1, the value of the function is e to the power 1, which is 2.718 to the power 1. So it is when x is equal to 1, you have this value here. And when x is equal to 2, it is 2.718 square, which is 7.389 here. Okay, you can just join them together. Like this, so it is fx equals to e to the power x function. Uh, this is fx is equal to e to the bar x function. Now, how do you get this? Well, we'll be using Taylor series. Taylor se we'll be using Taylor series in order to get the value of value of e equals to 2.718. So, Taylor series is suppose in case if I want to use Taylor series in the and the and the function is e to the bar x. So, what I'll do is e to the bar a plus e to the power a into x minus a plus so on to e to the power a into x minus a square upon 2 factorial plus e to the power a into x minus a to the power cube upon 3 factorial and so on. Note that all the derivatives of uh, of e to the power x are same. Okay, so this is this is basically e to the power x this is going to be e to the power x dash. This is going to be e to the power x double dash. This is going to be e to the power x triple dash. But the point is that whichever value you take, all its end derivatives are equal. Okay, because e to the power x dash is also e to the power x. e to the power x double dash is also e to the power x. e to the power x cube, uh, e to the power x to the power 3 is also uh, going to be not to the power 3. That is, the second derivative of e to the power x is also going to be equal to e to the power x. Third derivative is also going to be e to the power x and so on. So, all its end derivatives are same, which is e to the power x. And supposedly, if you want to calculate it at a equals to 0. So, you will substitute uh, a equal to 0 in all of these functions and you will eventually have e to the power 0 plus e to the power 0 into x minus 0 plus e to the power 0 into x minus 0 square upon 2 factorial and so on. Now, so what is e to the power 0? 1, okay, and you will be getting this expression. It is 1 plus x upon x squared by 2 factorial and so on. So eventually, you'll be getting this, which is 
1 plus 1 upon 1 factorial plus 1 upon 2 factorial plus 1 upon 3 factorial and so on and once you will be calculating this ignoring the higher powers because 1 upon 7 factorial and 1 upon 8 factorial will be almost equal to 0 you, you'll get this up to 7 terms also in case if you added you'll get some value of es like this e is equal to 2.718 okay so this is the way you derive the value for e to the power x okay well you need to have some idea of Taylor expansion we'll be doing this in some other recording but here we have just used uh, how to use Taylor expansion or to get the value for e